Chris McQuay on Obtainium Welding here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Everlast Lightning MTS 275 for TIG welding. So when you unpack all the components from your MTS 275, for the TIG welding side you'll have your water-cooled torch, we'll have our ground clamp, our pedal, and our flow meter regulator combo with a gas hose. So we're gonna set up a water-cooled torch today. So we have three different lines. We have the supply water, which is blue, the return water, which is red, and your argon gas line, which is black. Then we'll assemble the head of the torch. So we have a back cap. This is a full length back cap to take tungstens at full length. Then we have our white insulator with our gas lens. And we also have our collet. So put the collet in the lens, screw it on just hand tight. And then on goes your cup. And this is a number eight cup. Now that we've got the torch set up, we'll go to the back of the machine and we'll hook up the bottle and hook the gas into the back of your new MTS 275. So once you have your argon bottle lifted safely into place and secured with the supplied chains and rack, you need to remove the cap to expose the thread so that we can insert our regulator flow meter combo. First, we want to crack the bottle to clear the thread, and then we can insert the large end into the bottle. You need to grab your one and one eighth wrench to tighten this up, and we want it vertical because that's how the ball shows the gas flow. Now that we're hooked up to the bottle, we'll hook up the small end into the back of the machine, and we'll want two three quarter inch wrenches for that. So because this is a multi-process machine, there's a MIG gas inlet and a TIG gas inlet. We want to go into the one that says the TIG gas inlet for our argon bottle. We want to make sure we use our two three quarter inch wrenches, one to support the fitting on the machine and one to snug up the fitting that goes into it. So now that we have our gas bottle hooked up, let's move to the front of the machine where we can assemble all of our torch and pedal accessories. So now we can assemble the front end of the machine, we'll start with the ground clamp, we'll do the pedal, and then we'll put in the water-cooled torch. So if you're new to welding, this is really convenient. They have marked out where a ground clamp goes. We have two different ground clamp locations depending on what process you're on. For us, we're going to use the DC clamp positive for our ground clamp. There is a key, it goes into the keyway. We simply insert and turn to tighten. So now we're going to hook up your foot pedal. It's a pin connector but it has external keys. So we have to make sure we line up those five notches with the ones on the machine. And then you simply thread on the collar. So today we're using a water-cooled torch, so we have more connections, but if you're using your air-cooled torch, you only need to hook it into the negative torch receptacle and the gas outlet. But because we're using a water-cooled, we're gonna hook it into the gas and also the water cooler in the bottom. So we still have to line up our key with our keyway, put it in, turn until it's tight. Next, we'll do our gas setup. That's a nice quick connect. And then our water is blue to blue. And red to red. So now that we have all of our torch connections hooked up, we want to unscrew the water cooler reservoir and fill it up with some distilled water. So undo this black cap, get your distilled water or approved coolant and pour it in until we get to the full mark. So we just want to fill it until we're just at the 7.5 Then we can put the cap back on. So now that we're all prepped on the front side and hooked up, we're going to go to the back and plug the water cooler into the MTS 275 power supply. So once you have your machine plugged in and powered up, it's really important that this switch be up and the water cooler is running. And you can hear the water cooler, it's relatively loud. So now we're almost ready to weld, but we have to hook up our ground clamp to our work table. If it's a metal work table, we can just hook it up to the table, make sure it contacts clean metal, and that clean metal will contact your work. Okay, so now that we have our machine set up and running, the last step is to put our tungsten in. We have 330 seconds here, sharpened up for DC welding. Insert it into the gas lens. 
quarter to five sixteenths of an inch stick out and we're ready to go. In the next videos, we'll show you how to dial in the settings on the MTS 275 for TIG welding. I'm Chris McQuay on Obtainium Welding. Weld mean, weld green.